everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Arms Boomerlag for Royal LePage Binders Ask the Experts. This is the live stream podcast that we dive in with our preferred suppliers from Royal LePage Binder and talk about all sorts of things to do with their particular business, their investment in Windsor Essex, and why they are crucial for your buying and selling needs here in the Windsor Essex County area. And actually, before we came on air here on the show, I said to my guests, I'm like, hey, do you guys actually move appliances? Because my wife is on my back to move a couple of big pieces of appliances from the garage. We've got two fridges in the garage. I said, you know what? We do that and we do it very well. Uh, I'm excited to welcome a couple of folks from Load Pro. They're joining us here on the program today. We've got Mike and Jennifer. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Hi. Thanks so much for spending some time with me here on Royal LePage Ask the Experts. And uh, we've got lots of things to cover and talk about your particular business as well. So let's talk about some of those services outside of the appliance uh, moving uh, issue as well. But what kind of services do you guys offer uh, in terms of what could benefit folks in a residential uh, space or even in a commercial space? So we do movement services. We do junk removal, uh, demolition, uh, bin rentals. So yeah, we packing service. Packing service. Um, yeah, so we do quite a few services. So that's obviously um, a lot of the, um, pun intended, I guess, heavy lifting when it yes. comes to moving, uh, whether you're residential or, or commercial as well, too. Um, how did you guys get started uh, with Load Pro? T take me back to when you guys started to do this particular business here in the Windsor-Essex area. So this goes back to, to when I was about 16 years old. Um, I started doing this just uh, as a way to make money. Um, but it evolved into something that I'm really passionate about doing. Uh, it went from junk removal, and then it started doing uh, the cleanouts, the house cleanouts, and then we started doing the move-in aspect of it, and it just it's evolved over the years. Um, so we went full tilt uh, about three years ago, and just opened up Load Pro as an actual business, and it's uh, the rest is history, honestly. So it's just. I was just going to say, let's go to the comments here that are coming into the uh, live stream. A couple of folks saying, Shirley saying, hey, Jen. Hi, Shirley. Uh, we appreciate the, the tune in here on uh, Facebook Live on Royal Page Binder. But yeah, this is interesting, uh, right, right, Mike? Because you this comes from sort of like this concept when you're a teenager to say, okay, what can I do? You expand on this. And tell me about how it's been specifically for the two of you over the last couple of years with the housing and the real estate boom over the last little bit. I'd imagine that there's a lot of people looking to utilize those services and in a quick turnaround time too. Absolutely, yeah, it, uh, it's actually blown up. It's blown up uh, with the moving services, with the clean outs, uh, just because everyone's obviously selling their homes. Uh, so the clean out aspect has gone through the roof. The moving aspect has gone through the roof. Uh, it's been great. Yeah, it's absolutely been great. And we're already booking into next year. Wow, that's, yeah. that's insane. That's good though, right? I mean, there's just seems a lot of a lot of movement and uh, keeping you guys busy too. So, you you take a look at some of the social media stuff that's out there, and and social media obviously a good form of advertising for a lot of folks and getting your name out there. Why is it important, uh, Mike and Jennifer, to to use a reputable moving company, especially when it comes to insurance? It it is actually very very important. You need to feel comfortable with the moving company that you choose. There is a lot of companies out there who are advertising on Facebook and the marketplace, but you don't know who they are. Not only that, not only do you not know who they are, but you don't know if they have insurance. So if anything happens to any of your items, you don't really have anybody to go back to if they're not insured. So you want to make sure that they're also insured and um, you have to feel comfortable with your mover. Like you have to click. If you get a bad vibe from your mover, you definitely don't want to use them. So it's, you have to really do your research. You have to know who you're getting and you have to trust who you're getting. And every single person that Mike has gone out to quote, not only is he going out there to quote, but he's also going out there so you can meet him in person and you can get that vibe from him. You get that connection. And he has sure. landed every single quote that he's done. That's awesome because I would say that, um, you know, when, when it comes to that personal connection and listen, I love the internet. I, I love social media. I, I think it's it's so beneficial to businesses. But, you know, I've said this many times to even some of the team at Royal Page. It's like, yeah, it's nice to get that information right at your fingertips. But I would say, and call me old man arms, that there's something to... <laughs> Honestly, there's something to the face-to-face -face contact and and meeting yeah. people and, and and having that vibe and saying, okay, yeah, th this is somebody who 
isn't out to make a quick buck. They're actually uh, about the full service customer experience from start to finish. And then I would assume that you're really taking that uh, that lens of, hey, this is somebody's life that I am I am packing up and I'm moving for them. So it needs to be treated with respect and honesty. And Absolutely. and yeah. and how how can I make them feel like they're going to have a great experience? It's, it's, it has, it's been challenging. Uh, we've done some pretty difficult moves. Um, the weather has been a factor as well, sure. but whether rain shine or it's 150 degrees, yeah. we still get the job done and we do it. We do it with care. We do it with passion and we do it with heart. Yeah. And, uh, it's been really good. In your opinion, guys, what is the best form of advertising? Uh, yeah. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah, absolutely. Social media is great, but word of mouth definitely goes very far. And it, uh, we, we've moved multiple families, like from, yeah. from the parents to the kids to the, the parent or the kids, uh, siblings. siblings. Yeah. It just, it, yeah. Word of mouth is definitely the best way to go. Uh, speaking of word of mouth, some more comments coming up in the feed, which is great. Shirley says, uh, Hey, great company, great people. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks, Shirley. <laughs> and then Scott says too, you know what? I've used Load Pro on many occasions. Extremely reliable, dependable, and trustworthy. I highly recommend them. So some oh, of the folks so joining us on the stream too. Yep. So you've obviously moved Scott and uh, you've moved Shirley too. You've moved them to speak well of the brand, so to speak, yes, and absolutely. and what you guys you guys do here in the Windsor Essex area. And you're moved to support the community too. Tell me a little bit more about what you guys do for the Windsor Spitfires. This is kind of exciting. So we actually... Uh, Obviously, we support the Windsor Spitfires. Uh, we have advertisements on all their garbage cans inside of the rink. Um, the WFC Center. At the WFCU Center. And we sponsor them. We sponsor them. We have uh, season tickets for season ticket holders uh, that we like to give away to our customers when we do our uh, giveaways, contests, stuff like that. So, yeah. We have some tickets that are we have to send to those. That, oh, yeah, that's uh, right. That's right. Yeah. Those the children that we moved, yeah, both cool. families nice. we moved, ago. and uh, we promised them some tickets. Yeah. Very nice. So That's awesome. Our, yeah. So a lot of our customers they end up getting tickets, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, let's go back to more comments coming in, which is awesome to see here on the live stream. Uh, Carrie says, "I love how reliable and quickly they respond to my needs, even when I call them at the last minute." So that's got to be. Uh, <laughs> That's got to be a bit of quick of a turnaround time for a lot of folks too, right? I mean, yes. especially in today's market, if you're thinking, okay, my closing date is now moved because the the seller wants to get out of the house early and I got to get in there sooner. Uh, tell me about a little bit about that process, about sort of making sure that you're able to move people in. That's got to be a lot of coordination too. Yeah. So there's a lot of logistics, coordination. Uh, <laughs> we definitely, yeah. Definitely, this is a logistical <laughs> part of it, uh, but it, uh, it, it's definitely challenging, but we we try to make everything work for every one of the customers, um, and we understand, you know, they have they have to pick up their keys at certain times, so we might not even start a job till later on in that day, mm -hmm. just to accommodate them, so they're not being charged more money. So we actually go out of our way to make sure that they're getting everything at a reasonable price, and uh, in a reasonable time. Yeah, in a reasonable time. So, uh, yeah. We have, uh, we had one one person that we gave a quote to this morning, and um, they've actually run into a little bit of an issue where they have asked us to do special arrangements to be able to move them after 5 o'clock. Wow. So, that is something that we're going to take care of for them. Yep. Yeah, so we go above and beyond yep. 100% every single time, every single customer. Uh, we treat them like their family, honestly. I uh, also wanted to talk to you both about, you know, you've been doing this for a long time, right? So mm -hmm. you must have found some cool things uh, as you move, right? Like if Absolutely. you're doing a lot of these cleanouts of these homes, if you, and we'll get to that too about what you guys do for a lot of the rental properties or, or is this stuff that people leave behind? And like, tell me about some of the coolest things you find, the stuff that are like, wait a second, this is actually pretty cool. This is maybe a collector's item. This is something that's really unique. That roadrunner thing. What is it? That roadrunner thing. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm the kind of person when we go through houses, I like to find little trinkets when I go through things. So I actually found, um, it was a little roadrunner off of a, a roadrunner cart. I think it was a Plymouth roadrunner. So okay. it was just like a yeah. little, just a little trinket piece that goes on the front hood ornament. 
Uh, today we actually found a firearm case with firearms in it. Oh my God. Yes. So we have to bring those to the RCMP. Uh, we found bullets, uh, antiques. We constantly find antiques. Wow. Um, yeah. Gold jewelry. Yeah. Everything. That ring that we found. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. We, some pretty cool things. Yeah. There's some pretty cool things that we found. And some things that he doesn't even know what they are. No. No. He's actually brought it home just because he doesn't know what it is. And he's looked on the computer, taken pictures, and tried to figure out what some of this. And some of them, we haven't even figured out what it was. Yeah. But they're like tools and things like that. So it's kind of cool. Cool. You guys should open up like your own like live stream of like the cool stuff you find. It could be like pawn yeah. shop, but it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah. you don't know what it is and get it appraised, right? That's kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> I, I was going to say, too, and kudos to you, too. I know another charitable aspect that you do, you're not just working here in the city and, and bringing folks to their homes in a safe and timely manner, but you're also helping out with great organizations and great causes like the Miracle, uh, June 27th Miracle. So tell me about your involvement in that over the last little bit. Um, well, we've actually, this is the second year that we've worked for Miracle Day. Uh, we bring our truck and trailer. We had uh, one person who donated a lot of boxes that actually filled our trailers. So we drove out to, where were they? Uh, it was out in LaSalle. Out in LaSalle to pick a, up all the boxes. Yeah, it was a young kid that yes. got all these boxs by himself. By himself. Wow. He went, and there had yeah. to have been hundreds of boxes. Yeah, he went dumpster diving collecting. and he went out and pulled out all the boxes. Yep. Yeah, so we went and picked them. He reached out to us. We went and picked them up and brought them over to the school. Yep. Yeah. And then we, uh, along with my son, Aiden, uh, we worked Miracle Day last year. His brother, Rob, helped us as well. So it was a big family affair. We all did it and volunteered with it. And we worked from 6.30 in the morning till about 7 at night. That's awesome. Yeah, we definitely give the muscle aspect of it because, yeah. you know, those boxes are heavy. So oh, absolutely. We, the muscle, we transport a lot of the stuff around the city, wherever uh, char charities are. We bring all the uh, canned goods to them, uh, drop those off. So, yeah, it's awesome. We love it. That That's something that we look forward to now every year. Yeah. Every year. We have T-shirts made, and we wear our T-shirts, and it's pretty awesome. With a few minutes left to go here on the live stream, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. It goes by pretty quickly. Um, yeah. I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, you know, working with Frank Binder and our agents right across our brokerages at uh, Royal LePage Binder Real Estate. What's your experience been like working with Royal LePage? Honestly, with the customers that we've gotten from them, it's been amazing. Everyone is, uh, even the real estate agents that we deal with, they're absolutely amazing. The customers are amazing that we get. Um, so overall, the experience, absolutely amazing. And we're honored. We yes. are deeply honored to be one of their preferred suppliers. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you guys for spending some time with us here on the show. Um, Royal LePage commenting here saying, hey, thanks so much for the chat. Excited to be partnered with you guys at Low Pro. Eager to promote your services to our realtors and clients. Perfect. So um, special thanks to, for spending some time with me. And if you get a phone call from me, uh, just know <laughs> that it is a lark. It's a large fridge and a freezer yeah. my wife wants from the garage into the basement, and I just painted the walls. We got so, it. Yeah, we'll take okay, it. done and done. Have a great Thank weekend, guys. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. You guys do great work. Thanks for supporting the community. Thanks for being part of Royal LePage, and uh, all the best in the future. I know we'll chat soon, okay? Awesome. Absolutely. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Mike and Jennifer from Load Pro. Great folks here, community-minded here in the Windsor-Essex area. And uh, the comments continue to come in, so we appreciate their time here on Royal LePage, Ask the Experts. This is a live stream, folks, where we chat with our preferred suppliers. And if you're interested in maybe pursuing that, if you're in a business, you can find out a little bit more about what we do with our preferred suppliers by going to our website, royallepagebinder.com. Have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you get some rest and enjoy uh, the last weekend of summer, believe it or not. It is fall uh, next Wednesday on the 22nd. So thanks so much for spending some time with us here on Ask the Experts, part of Royal LePage Binder's live streams. And we'll see you in about a couple of weeks.